Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create multiple stiffeners in Tecla structures. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with the US environment. Now we're going to create a beam. So click on steel and select this beam and pick the first position at here and pick the second position to create the beam. Right click on mouse interrupt to exit the command. Okay, now we're going to create the uh, four stiffeners at here uh, from end of this beam to one feet distance. So now we're going to take reference point. So click on edit and select this point and click on this at any position and zoom it and pick the first position at here at end section, gradient section point, right click on mouse interrupt. Drag and select this point, right click on mouse, move special, click on linear. Okay, here you can see in the axis, global axis. Now we're going to move in the x direction. So type here one feet, then click on move, click on OK. Right click on mouse, interrupt. Here you can see now we have uh, this point one feet from end of this beam. So now we're going to place the stiffener at here and three more stiffeners, one feet distance in between two stiffeners at here okay click on this application components you can use the shortcut control f also in the search bar type 1064 you can see now we have the multiple stiffeners set here you can use this stiffness 1034 also with the same procedure For currently we're, we need we require multiple stiffness so we need to use this stiffener for single stiffener you can use this one okay select this multiple stiffener 1064 component and select the beam and pick position at here to create the stiffeners and close this component window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse view. you can see by default we have the two stiffeners on one stiffener on this side and other stiffener on other side like this exactly at one feet from end of this beam okay now we're going to edit this stiffener we record four stiffeners uh, with the equal interval of one feet distance between two stiffeners so double double click on this stiffener now I have this window to record four stiffeners so we need to enter here number four and the distance between the two stiffeners should be one feet so we need to enter here one feet then click on modify you can see now we have the four stiffeners but uh, we record first stiffener at here and remaining stiffeners on right side so we need to edit this distances so you can see from component symbol to this side should be one feet and this is the off feet means six inches so uh, click on these parameters you can see from component to this distance should be one feet minus one feet six inches you can see we need to enter this spacing from this distance the first different distance to this component distance should be one feet six inches so we need to enter here minus one feet six inches to move this first stiffener exactly at component symbol then click on modify you can see now our first stiffener should be at exactly at reference point and at the con component symbol like this and remaining stiffeners are on the right side okay now we're going to edit this stiffener thickness so click on this path step and uh, left stiffener thickness well, for example we're going to take one four one fourth then click on modify you can see now this stiffener should be one fourth thickness if you want to adjust this stiffeners uh, height and width click on the stiffness tab and you can see you can maintain from here for example if you want to maintain the stiffener edge or uh, half inch from edge of this stiffener so we need to enter here you can see the symbol you need to enter here half inch and here also enter half inch on other side then click on modify you can see now this spacing should be half inch from edge of this stiffener or flange to sti this stiffener okay Generally, we need, we're, we're going to take up to the edge of this flange, so just remove this stiffener uh, value, then click on modify. You can see, you will get like this. 
if you want exactly at the edge of the flange then make it here zero then click on modify you'll get exactly edge of this flange like this similarly you can adjust the height of this uh, stiffener also for example at the bottom side uh, require uh, from inside flange to this stiffener distance uh, one inch then you need to make here one inch at the bottom then click on modify you can see now this spacing inside flange to the stiffener should be one inch okay generally we're going to take up to the edge of the flange inside flange then remove this value you'll just make it like this as you as you require you can change these values for example if you want to maintain this chamfer value half inch uh, one fourth inch then enter here one fourth just copy control c and paste control v on your keyboard just like this then click on modify to see the result you can see this chamfer value should be of one fourth on both side generally we are going to take off inch so make it here off inch use the shortcut control v for paste and control c for for copy then click on modify you can see you'll get like this okay you can change this uh, different types of chamfer values also for example click on here if you want to this this type of chamfer then select this curved chamfer then click on modify then you will get like this and if you want to use this kind of chamfer cut then select this one and I click on modify you'll get like this generally we are going to use this this chamfer only so make it this one then click on modify okay that's it about this uh, stiffener editing then click on modify apply ok click on space right click on mouse redraw view you can see okay okay that's it about how to create multiple stiffeners in the cloth structures just like this okay if you have any doubts please comment below if you like this video please like it and share it for more tech class structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gany sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech class structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you